I have two bad news. One, I couldn't find the cockroach yet. The second one, I'm Hobarth. And I'm Duke. And after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. Today we have a lot to do and we are gonna take you with us. First thing. <laughs> we need gas for the dinghy. Yeah, this is... To, to buy gas for the dinghy is always a mission. I mean, there is a gas station right there. A floating gas station. But that's a lot more expensive. So we're gonna take the dinghy, <laughs> go to the city, walk a little bit, go to the regular car gas station and buy from there because it's gonna be much cheaper. And then we go to the supermarket <laughs> and then, yeah, you know, we, we do more things. If you go there to buy gas, we end up doing a lot more always. As usual, every morning Fernando comes to have breakfast is with us and look who is here. Aww. Back like two months ago he would leave and take Loba with him. Now he's just like, nah, Loba stays. So he went back to his boat and where is Loba? <laughs> Poor dog. She wants more. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Ready to go? This is from the bottom. Yeah, this is one of the sides of the centerboard truck rubber that fell off. I knew it, it wouldn't last for that long because it was hard to find an entire piece. It was dividing parts, so, well, it is what it is. We need to throw on the garbage. A lot of barnacles. his flip flop so we were considering him using mine I have two in, in the boat so check it out <laughs> It was a morning in June when I heard that tune falling up to the beat of your heart like a white rain sail from a startled trail, our eyes met and then landed so well. Like a shell on a beach, waiting for your reach, falling up to the mountain to climb. Gas station now. Mother Nature's procuring, there's no need for doubt in this life. You came reassuring, Mother Nature's procuring, there's no need for doubt in this mind. And our eyes alive. Like the sun through the pines in a silent space In a cup full of time In these orderly ways In this disorderly life I let go of my hand in the jar For the great moon in the middle of June Falling up to the pole of the tide Though I've seen it before and I've ever been told Can touch this feeling inside In these orderly ways In this disorderly life I let go of my hand In the jar I let go of my hand In the jar Today is a special day because Luca is cooking Every day that's why we I don't, don't cook. Feel That's why I don't cook every day. <laughs> so when I cook, it's special. You know? What's going on there? Uh, working. Still <laughs> working on installing lamps. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of lamps and mods. <laughs> We 
we're gonna need the bigger pan for the pasta. The last lamp being installed. <laughs> Third day installing lamps. <laughs> and look at this. That's so nice. But we used to have this one that we don't need anymore. Now we have this one. Looks much better. Now the right size. And that's it. In less than a minute, we have another handles one. installed. Yeah, we just need <laughs> that to do another. We were installing for like a year. Yeah, we have one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to go. We can do that. <laughs> this is gonna be a new life. Even though the sails are not ready, we decided to move. Yeah, we've been doing way too much boat work. This week we did a lot of boat work, so we got a lot done and we deserve a little break. So we're gonna motor to a bay that's like, I don't know, like two hours from here only. And I'm gonna go surfing tomorrow, that's the reason why, because there's a swell tomorrow, so we decided we deserve some surf. I mean, I deserve some surf. But before we go, we need to fill up the water tank. We didn't fill the water tank since we left Ilia Bella and this is gonna be the first time here. Yeah, it's been a little while and yeah. you know, we've been showering every day. And salt we save water. a lot of yeah. water, jumping in the salt water. True, but then we need to fresh up with fresh water. Yeah, so good, there's a mooring bowl on the other side of the bay that we can get water from the mooring bowl. So we're gonna just motor there, get some water and we are off. And Fernand is gonna go with us, of course. Him and Lomba are like attached to us. <laughs> Actually, Fernando had the idea of moving to there today. Let's do it different today again. Waiting for the guy that's on that dinghy. He's gonna take us to the mooring boat that's somewhere around here. I don't know where exactly yet. <laughs> yeah, but somewhere around here. We might even on the way see how comes out. That's a sister boat, a little bit different. No center board and two masts is a catch. But exactly the same hole that did a circle navigation, one of my favorite books. How comes out somewhere around here. I think we are getting better on maneuvering odd. It was quite easy to get here. And now we are installing the filter. Ready to go. Huh. This is our charcoal filter. Now we wait an hour. <laughs> Look is here. Checking if we are gonna rotate and hit other boats. Yeah, this place is just so full of mooring boats. I, I, it's crazy. They are so close to each other that I don't feel comfortable not sitting here. So I'm gonna sit here for one hour and you know <laughs> wait for the water and then we just leave. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm here inside checking if the water is full. When the tank's full, we start having some water here on this vent. Not yet. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new show. Done! Ready! So this is closed. We still need to change the system. <laughs> yeah. If we let go, we are screwed because we have no other lead. So we need to pay really good attention. And now, as we have water... That's it. We just need to put this hose back to the morning bowl and we're off. Let's 
go. There's the boat that's similar to ours. This is so cool. <laughs> we met the owners in the boatyard where Fred's repeating Alvini and now they are here. <laughs> it's so good to pass by with our boat. So amazing. Yeah, Hapunzel was the boat that I read the book and that I met the boatyard that you bought for the first time because we loved the book and that was like eight years ago we had no idea about a boat tree the old art and when we found out about this boat we realized it was the same boat I'm like oh that's the boat we need to buy this boat yeah it's pretty really cool but now we need to move we need to get there before it's dark here we have the speedometer <laughs> I clean today. Yeah, I clean yes it's so much. I'm like this time Nitro, I got like you know the little metal thing like inside and clean the whole thing. <laughs> so now it's working. See? We can see the speed of the boat now. Finally! <laughs> <laughs> Chicama right there. <laughs> Our friend's here already. Mm -hmm. And the other one is coming that way. But I didn't know about the other one. That's a metal boat actually. Friends, I mean old friends. <laughs> old friends. <laughs> Meeting Shikama again. Fernando is right, right behind. And here we are. Really dark. I'm not sure if you can see anything. <laughs> but tomorrow morning we have good surf. That's it. Good morning. Time to wake up. It's already daylight. And we're gonna go surfing today. Yeah, Fernando is coming to pick me up with our dinghy because he took my dinghy today. And we're gonna go to shore. We're gonna walk for 15 minutes that way. Behind this hill, there is a beach with supposedly swell today. So we're gonna go surfing. And we're gonna take you with us today because you need to see the surf, of course. Time to go, my friends. Another cockroach was found she and lost. I almost had her and then she went through one hole and that's it. Disappeared. I have two bad news. One, 
I couldn't find the cockroach yet. The second one is that the boat is a mess. Check it out. Coming from this turn. So this area is already empty and ready to be poisoned. It's all empty here and here and there. So the idea is to close this door here and to put poison on this area today. So we wait for around two days and then we put everything back and then we can do our bedroom, our cabin and then we keep going till we put poison in every part of the boat. The good thing is that I couldn't find any pool anywhere so I think it came flying when we opened this hatch. I'm so tired. It's so hot today. Duca <laughs> went downtown to do some errands. We need to do the AIS document and Duca and Fernando went to the place to do all the bureaucracy. Meanwhile, I'm here putting the house upside down. <laughs> yeah, time to put the, ah, the boat's moving so much today. <laughs> So I'm using this Gabi and Jessai gave us. So I need to mix this with water. And I hope it works. I can't stand cucurrits anymore. I, I hate them. So now I need to mix the poison. for today good 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 news great news the poison worked and she's dead we won <laughs> now we can enjoy i think we should go out for dinner now i think we should go out to eat something now yeah we, we can should go, go out, out and eat something now yeah yeah it's we it's need fine. to celebrate the death of the cockroach <laughs> the only good thing about this cockroach is that now the v-birth cabin is clean and we can donate some things and it's gonna be better let's go explore a little bit because i was at home during the whole day trying to find the cockroach and i found it so let's it's celebrate a victory. it <laughs> today there was one more victory i at least started the paperwork to register our mmsi i guess that's the number the vhf radio registration that is being I don't know, two, almost three years that I've been trying to do that and now today was the first little step. It might take four months to get the registration, but at least we started next. A victory. Victory. <laughs> Let's go. Of course we ended up in a supermarket. <laughs> As usual. 